It is a new week. It is a new month. I love when a new month starts on a new week, even though it is Tuesday, the 1st of November. It was a bank holiday weekend, so the Tuesday of a bank holiday is like a Monday, the other way, it has that energy. At the start of a new month, I always tell myself this sentence. This month is going to be the best month of my life so far. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, number one, Rebecca, how do you know that? And number two, maybe that's not possible because my life feels like it's going downhill very, very fast right now. But if you think about it in relation to the butterfly effect, sometimes the tiniest, 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 tiniest decisions that we make every single day have a knock on effect and change our life forever and bring something or someone into our lives that would have never happened had us not made that tiny decision. Like a tiny decision you could have made five years ago that could have seemed so insignificant might only change your life this month or last month or this year. Do you know what I mean? So I think by looking at the month through a lens of this month is going to be the best month of my life so far, you're telling yourself, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but some decision or something I do, whether it's for myself or for my relationships or for the world or for my business or for whatever, some decision I make or something I do this month is going to change my life forever in a positive way. So it's going to be the best month of my life so far. You're stepping into a new month with a lens of possibility and potential and excitement as opposed to like it's November. There are so many reasons to look at the month of November especially and be like November is the worst month nothing happens, we're just waiting for Christmas, it's dull, it's cold, I feel sad, you know, seasonal affective is a massive thing, or seasonal, yeah, seasonal affective disorder. Whereas if you tell yourself, this month's gonna be the best month of my life so far, I have no idea what's gonna happen, I have no idea what decision I'm gonna make or what thing is gonna happen that's gonna have a knock-on effect on my life, but I'm just telling myself, it's gonna be the best month of my life so far, Watch how your brain changes and looks for more opportunities. You open yourself up to so many more opportunities and so many more things that might have never happened if you were looking at the month being like, oh, nothing's gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? So that's how we're gonna start our month. I'm excited for this week. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen because we never know. As much as we think we know, as much as we think we plan and we know what the week is gonna look like, what the month is gonna look like, what our day is gonna look like, life, can throw you a curveball at every, any given moment in time, but you have to be open and ready for that curveball. Morning, today is gonna to be a great day. Today is gonna to be a great day. Today is gonna to be a great day. <laughs> when you start your days on a bit of a, a note that is, there's just a lot more stress than there needs to be. I'm not stressed, I'm not the problem, but you know what I mean? I don't wanna go into it. It is Friday, I'm getting my hair done soon, but first I'm helping my dad, and then I'm meeting Shun, and we're going to a beauty supply store. She needs to get like stuff for her gel nails. She does her own gel nails, love that for her. Wish I could be that girly. I can't even paint my nails. Not of mine do my own gels. Speaking of nail appointments, I have a na nail appointment one day and I'm so excited. I have not had proper nails since September. I was gonna do a bit of makeup before I got my hair done, but my skin's actually thriving. I started tretinoin last week. I've used it three times and I feel like I'm getting like childlike skin, which is always the goal because good skin is always wasted on children. Do you know what? It, they don't need it. They, they don't appreciate it. They don't care, frankly. And then I'm going for dinner and drinks with the girls tonight and I cannot wait for a big fat Malibu. I'm not even gonna lie. I cannot wait for a big fat Malibu and Coke Zero. Stunning. Anyway, oh, also my period's five days late, so that's due. Yeah, I look good in my Versace dress. Oh my God, look at my hair. Would you know and get my hair done today because it is a mess. It is a mess. Why is the potato? It's not a picture. It's not a picture. Laura's like, I know, but I'm smiling now. We have nice content now. You're welcome. The special chairs. 
Do you want to cheers my glass? <laughs> she wants, oh, to, like, I don't know what she wants me to do, but I'm just going with it. Wait, one, two, three. Pick up your Aperol there, girl. Pick up your Aperol. Pick up your Aperol and drink it. Go and pick it up. Besties, who is the worst vlogger in the world? Sometimes. I'm not the worst vlogger in the world, but like, I got my hair done today, didn't vlog it. We're back to black with the hair. Well, not black. My hairdresser said it's not black. She said it's actually level four. Whoa. But what's going on? I need to clip it. But yeah, she told me it's a level four, but I think it's black. Anyways, I got my hair done and then I went for dinner and drinks with the girls. It's not dinner and drinks because dinner and drinks is like one or two, whereas dinner and drinks is a few. I didn't have that much to drink, to be honest. I had three Malibus for dinner. <laughs> no, I had dinner and three Malibus. Another Malibu. And then I had a pina colada and then I had another Malibu. So I stuck mainly to the Malibus. And now we're taking off my makeup because, Bessie, you're not going to sleep with your makeup on. Just don't upset me now and tell me you're going to sleep with your makeup on. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 babe. No, 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 don't lie. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I realised today is that I'm going to go to bed now? Because we need to finish our skincare. But I realised today I have not travelled anywhere in 2022. Nowhere. Nowhere. Not outside Ireland. I stayed in Ireland all of 2022. And you know what? I think that's exactly what I was meant to do. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why. I just am trusting it. Do you know what I mean? But I already have my first travel plan of 2023 planned. I'm actually going to Spain on the 1st of January 2023. So we're starting the new year in Marbella. I put on tan before I went out. And it's only developing now. Because of course it is. Okay. Hasta la vista. I'll see you now tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Some regrets I have this morning include not organising my room before I went out yesterday, number one. Number two, organising a meeting with a client for half eleven, which is in three minutes. Do you know what? It's not the worst decision I've ever made. I just don't want to do it right now. I think I only have two regrets. Do you know what I mean? I'm just taking my hair vitamins. Setting up the Zoom call. You know how we do. And how do you get the most attention? Because at the end of the day, the more attention you get, the more people are like, I want to work with that guy. You could branch that idea to TikTok. You could bring it, you know, you could bring that so many places because your sense yeah. of humor is like original to you. Do you know what I mean? Whereas when you are trying to be professional, anyone can be professional. And no one even... Yeah relates to being like have you ever scrolled on linkedin it is the most mind numbing thing because most people are talking in like the same tone of like well done john can't wait to see what you do next in your job yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's so boring but if you yeah. can bring like your original voice and your authentic voice to the posts and you can also turn it in a way of like giving tips to people who don't have the budget so then not only are the people who want to hire you interested but the people who don't have the money to hire you but want your tips so then when if they do get the money or if they do they'll recommend you being like oh my god i follow this page no 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 you're over explaining yourself but like accounts nothing audio nothing tags fewer than 100 places nothing so therefore good morning happy good sunday morning. Happy Sunday. I blow dried my hair last night with the Colour Wow Feckin' Dream Coat. And when I dyson my hair, when I got my dyson first, my hair was so healthy. This time last year, my hair was so healthy, it actually pains me to think about the amount. I was like, sure, I'm just gonna go copper. And then I'm just, the copper didn't even damage my hair. It was the blonde, obviously. But this time last year, my hair was way healthier. So when I dyson my hair and go to sleep, I'd wake up the next day and it would still be styled and lovely, like it wouldn't be frizzy. 
And my mom has blonde hair. She's been blonde all her life. And she used to go to bed and she wake up and her hair would be like crazy. And I have a silk pillowcase now and so does mom. And I was like, why, what do you be doing in your sleep? Like you must be sweating, like how? But anyway, ever since I've like, I went blonder and blonder and blonder, I would dice my hair and go to bed and I'd wake up and my hair would just be frizzy. It just wouldn't sit right. It would just be poofy. And last night I got the Colour Wow Dream Coat on Friday. And last night I blow dried my hair with it. When I blow dried my hair last night with the, it was the first time using the Colour Wow and I'd never used it. And they say to like blow dry it with tension. So I just blow dried it straight. And it is still very straight. Uh, cause my hair is so frizzy because of the dryness, because of the blonde. But I got my hair done on Friday. I think I told you that. Oh yeah, I, I vlogged. Drunk. Taking off my makeup. I'm very excited because I'm going, I'm drinking my Monster right now. I got notifications, my hot girl hoodies, the embroidered ones will be here tomorrow, which I am so excited by because Basically, I had a birth chart reading and I asked the astrologer to look at my progress chart and she said I should launch on the 8th of November at 5.15 p.m. So I know I like the hoodies, I know I like the crewnecks, but I don't know will I like the designs. <laughs> so they're coming tomorrow. So I'm hoping and praying at least one of them is good so I can launch some form of hoodie on the 8th. But yeah, so they're coming tomorrow. So I'm actually very excited about that and I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I have not had nails, look at my hands. I was actually showing my friend the last day, she's like, they actually don't look like your hands. I was like, what are these? Uh, I have not had nails since September because I nearly ripped this guy off uh, in Dunn's. I was doing like a food shop and hit it. Anyway, so I have obviously the last few months been letting this guy like grow out and like I've been massaging it using castor oil and it's actually grown loads. So I'm getting my nails done tomorrow at 10 to 12. And I'm so excited to feel like myself again and have nails. Tomorrow's the 7th of November and then I have my Christmas nail appointment on the 7th of December. I don't know what to do with my nails tomorrow though. I'm feeling like a black and red moment or like a forest green. I don't know, but I'm gonna ask my nail girl, does she have any inspiration? I literally haven't seen her in two months. She's going to be like, where were you? What's going on? But anyway, I'm currently drinking a monster and I'm going to go to the gym today. I am on period day two. Bold choice going to the gym, but I'm not going to do, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to walk uphill. I'm just going to do 12 to 30. I'm going to come home. I'm going to edit this video and you're going to get a Sunday vlog. Third one in a row. She's back on YouTube. Also, if you're watching this video after the 8th of November, I will link my website, thehotgirlguide.com below. And that is where you can shop all your hot girl hoodies. I might even do like a quick video on Tuesday, just like showing you the hoodies and like hyping up the launch because you only launch something once. You know what I mean? And these are my first physical products that I'm ever launching. I've never sold, like I've been on the internet for so many years and like doing different things and doing makeup and blogging and TikTok and YouTube and vlogs. And I always was like, I'd love to have my own thing, but I never felt the need to like rush it or to like slap my name on something just to like, you know, do like merch or whatever. But when the whole idea of like the hot girl guide and everything came around, then like the hot girl hoodies. And then like for the last, I'd say six months, I've been like researching how to do it, figuring it out because, so basically I just researched it. So if anyone is thinking about, you know, asking me like, hey bestie, what's the formula? It's not that I'm gatekeeping, but like everything's different. Like some people will do print on demand. Some people will do drop shipping. Some people will like buy all the stock um, and like keep it in a warehouse and ship it and post it themselves. Some people want eco-friendly stuff. Some, you know, it all depends on what you want. But let me just say that YouTube and Google is free. So if you want to start your own apparel or clothes or mugs or tarot cards or selling whatever, like there are ways to do it. You just have to research it. 8th of November, hotgirlguy.com. Because they're print on demand, they're made to order. So you won't get them next day delivery. Like I'm one person. I'm a one woman show. 
customer service, website development, ordering the hoodies, designing the hoodies, like I <laughs> do everything. Um, so, you know, you don't get next day delivery. You know, it might take a week, it might take 10 days, but you will get it and it will be made for you. So just be sure to look at the size guide um, and everything like that, because the only reason we will accept refunds is if it is faulty, uh, just because the whole idea of doing print on demand is so that there's less waste and less hoodies being printed that won't be worn, do you know what I mean? There will be, it'll be size inclusive. So I think some of the, it depends on the colors, but I think one of them goes up to like 5XL and the smallest is like extra small or small. So that is the crack. I'm going to go because I have to go to the gym and I've been blabbing for too long and you're probably not even listening anymore. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, help a girl out and I will see you next week.